Hey guys, Garbrag here, and I am going to give you guys the strat that we use for this first boss, or an optional strat for the first boss, as there is that, that tree strat. So the way this boss works is the primary boss, and then there's two little mini bosses off to the sides. Your first focus as DPS should be either the, the archer or the healer mage. Personally, I think the archer should go down first as he's the one doing most of the DPS uh, to, your, to your group. So, in this video, we do focus on the archer. What the archer does is he does um, an, an AoE attack that he shoots a fire arrow into the air and it lands in a spot that doesn't really have much of a visual warning other than you'll see a small part of fire and then it extends into an X. So you're going to want to make sure you do not get hit by that as the AoE in this dungeon is very, very killable. <laughs> Um, you stand in one thing by accident and you will be at 50% health, pretty much guaranteed every time. So the second boss of it is the major healer, and this one you don't have to kill as long as you interrupt it. Um, you can either kill the main boss first or you can kill this, this uh, healer mage. If you focus the healer mage, all you're going to want to do is just interrupt her heal that she's going to most likely do on herself now that the hunter is dead. So once she's down, focus on the boss. The primary boss has a few abilities that your tank is going to have to be aware of. He has an uppercut that hits for 2300 damage, as well as a massive AoE attack. This AoE attack has to be uh, avoided by the DPS and the healer. If you are the tank, you can take it. It won't kill you, but it will do quite a bit of damage. And the follow-up attack after that isn't anything that, that is too harmful. It's typically his uppercut, so as long as you're blocking, you'll, you'll be fine. The primary uh, boss also does a chain pull, and both the healer, or both the tank and whoever gets pulled is going to have to watch when this happens. When he does his pull, he will pick a random person and grab them and pull them towards him. Whoever gets pulled has to dodge back or dodge away or put your block up or whatever because he will follow up with an attack. At this point, when he does his pull, he does lose his aggro tree, so he will have to taunt him again. So make sure you're not constantly taunting, otherwise you may miss the opportunity to taunt him and want to put somebody in your group is going to die. So that's it for the uh, first boss. Um, he's not really too hard. It is everything in this dungeon is a DPS check, and you'll see that as you watch the other uh, boss videos. There.